oceans are not just a place that's nice to look at. It has wonders that can save us. The fact that we call this planet Earth is a little funny because it's 70% water. So just imagine if you're trying to keep something alive and flourishing that you ignore 70% of its components. And that's what's been happening. The UN has defined that the, the biggest danger for the oceans is plastic. The whole story of plastic is the fact that it doesn't go away. And those chemicals are not healthy to human beings. In many cases, it's cancerous. So the whole thing is just not good. Echo Ocean is an NGO that's dedicated to protecting the marine habitat and the coast. Half of Israel is water. Half of Israel is land. We definitely try to be the voice of the sea. I have an amazing team that are so dedicated to the mission of this organization. It is like an elite unit trying to do what they can to protect humanity. Microplastic is plastic that deteriorates over time and becomes small particles. And those particles find their way into the bodies of fish, turtles, dolphins, whales. You don't need to live by the ocean or near the ocean in order to absorb in your body microplastics. It's enough that you had a fish dish. And we tried to find who's the enemy, who's the bad guy. And it turns out that it's the beach users, the bottles and the cups and the bags and all the stuff that each of us bring to the sea. The way for people to be able to get involved about helping the ocean is to try to reduce the amount of single-use plastic in your life. Try not to bring any single-use plastic anywhere near the oceans. Most people don't go farther than the coastline. That causes the fact that most people to understand how beautiful and amazing the sea is. We were able to discover a sponge that has the ability to be a cure for Alzheimer's disease. So it's not just saving the animals. To save the sea is to save us. Look at it as a living organism that deserves our respect and that has a lot to give back.